Hey, and welcome to episode 202 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam, and today we're going to be finishing up our configuring a local host by, and what we're going to be doing specifically is setting up a Drupal theme and then sub-theming that out. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is actually head to CodeKarate.com because you know that's important. Uh, make sure while you're there to get a free sticker by clicking on the icon in the bottom left corner, and we'll send you a sticker directly to your mailbox. Also, while you're there, check out the other two videos in this series, as well as any other videos we have. Um, we have, like I said, 200 and some of the daily news dribble, so a lot to watch. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is let's just check out the site we've created. So, once you get logged in here, again, if you go under uh, Appearance, we can see all the themes that we have going on. So by default, the theme that Drupal comes with is called Barktick. Um, it works, but it's not necessarily the prettiest theme in the world. Um, they also have an admin theme called Seven, and it comes with two other ones that are disabled by default, Garland and Stark. Um, you can go ahead and play with those. Um, by, for the most part, they're not used a ton. They can be used. Um, one of the more popular ones, and the one we're going to focus on in this video, is called Zen. So to look at that one, we can, you can just Google Drupal Zen or go to drupal.org slash project slash Zen. And you can read about it here. Um, Zen is very well supported, um, very, it, I guess it, it's, it's cutting edge in the sense of technology. Um, it's gonna use CSS3, HTML5, be responsive out of the box, very easy to use and very user friendly. So the, um, the theme that this is the theme that we're going to use. So to get it, all you need to do is scroll to the bottom and download the newest version. I'm using 5.5. So go ahead and download that. Again, since it's really small, it's only 359 kilobytes. So pretty small. Once you get it installed, we're going to want to pull that open. So I'm going to find it real quick. I'm just going to drag it over here into my downloads. So you see it's right there. Let's go ahead and extract that. And then we're going to want to drop this folder into our um, sites all themes. So to do that, I'm going to open up another window to make it a little easier here. So we can hop back to our site. Again, it's under websites. I remember it was test. And again, if this is unfamiliar with you, make sure you watch the other two videos and you'll be able to catch up. But again, in Drupal, all this stuff is stored under the sites folder. Sites all. And we want to go into our themes. And then again, there's nothing in there because we haven't dropped any themes in. If we go back here to default, oops, not default, excuse me. If we go back in here to themes. You'll see here the themes that we just were looking at. They come default installed with Drupal. We don't want to do that though. We want our own unique ones. So we go under sites all again, themes. And this is where we're going to drop all our themes in. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that Zen and drop it in. And I'll show you real quick what that just did. So let's go back to our appearance here. Let's refresh the page. And now you'll see we have a Zen option available. We can enable that and set default. And we'll show you what happens here. So you see the background here kind of has that blue. I know it's grayed out, but you'll see that complete is going to change here. And it goes to basically pretty much a blank template, which for most themers and stuff, this is what you want to start with. You want to start with something blank and build up to the theme that you want or the site that you want to have. But the thing is, is with Drupal, the people are constantly making changes to Zen, right? They're making it better, improving things, adding things, and you don't want to mess with that. You don't want to change something in your Zen folder here because once something new comes out and you update your Zen theme, it'll get overridden. So what you need to do is you need to create something called a sub theme that is specific only to you that only you will update So to do that you simply can come into the Zen folder. They make it really easy and There's this folder called starting kit Inside of here. There's a bunch of folders That are gonna look very similar to what's in Zen, but we it's different So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take that out of the Zen theme and put it as a um, sibling to Zen. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it right here. And so there we go. And I always, I just like to get rid of it too. I don't like to have two of the same. So we're going to go ahead and move that to the trash bin that was in our Zen folder. So now we have Zen and starter kit. 
So this starter kit is what's known as a sub-theme. It's going to be based off of Zen. So it's going to use the files that are in Zen, but it's also going to overwrite any of those and use our own unique files. So it's the best of both worlds. So the first thing you need to do is let's rename this. We're going to rename this to, I'm going to call it test theme. And then inside of here, there's a bunch of different folders going on. We have our configuration file, a CSS folder, which contains a bunch of different CSS files. We also have a bunch of other ones. I'm not going to go through them all here. But the ones we need to change is the first one is this info file. So to do that, we first need to rename it. We don't want it to say we had .txt, so let's get rid of that. We don't want it to be a .info. And you want to give the .info file the same name as your theme. So we want test theme. We want to use the info. So test theme.info. Let's open that file up. I'll open that with my Komodo. So once it's open here, if you're first time looking at an info file, it does look kind of different. But there's only a few things you need to change to get your sub theme set up. The first one is the name. I like to give this something that's unique to me. This is just a, un a name. So I'm going to say my test theme. And then you can give it a description. I always like to give a description saying, This is a sub theme of Zen. So I know that if I'm looking at it, then I know it's based off of the Zen um, core theme. The rest of the stuff you don't really need to change right now. Um, so we'll go ahead and leave that as default. And let's just go ahead and save that. And then go back to our files. And then the other thing you want to change is you want to open up your theme settings.php file. Take a look at that. And anywhere that it says starter kit, you just want to change that to your theme name. And again, we set that as test theme. Okay? Or that's exactly what you named this folder right here, test theme. Okay? So let's go ahead and save that. And another thing, you don't have to do this out of the gate, but it's kind of a good rule of habit and we're not going to get into this file too much, but if you go into your template.php file, um, by default there's nothing nothing uh, started on that but there's a bunch of starter kits in there I always like to copy one and do a edit replace and I always like to just change that to mine so I don't forget to do it later just replace all you see they've all changed like I said that ain't gonna do anything today but when you start adding modules and doing some development you'll need to change those anyway so I like to do it out of the gate anyway so anyway you change those two and that is all you need to do to set up your Zen sub theme. There is information how to do that in this readme.txt file. So if you do get lost, make sure to reference that file and you can learn a little bit more about how to do that. So, to do, so now if we go back to our site and, oops, that's not our site, and we go back into appearance, you'll see that we have our my test theme is available. So let's change it. Let's do enable and set default. And you want to make sure that you do keep your Zen enabled, but you just don't want it to be the default. And we're actually going to disable Bark Dick because we don't need that one running. We'll keep Zen 7 because that's our admin theme on the back end. And we should be good to go. So if we want, we can come here to settings. We can change different things. You can change the breadcrumbs and all kinds of configuration. And this video definitely isn't going to go into that because that's a long video series on that. But we'll refresh it and we'll see now it says test site. Welcome to test site. So we've now switched to our Zen sub theme. So again, to show the power of that, you can literally change any files within this and it'll reflect on your site. But if you want to show you an example of it's working, we'll do one more thing. Under Zen, we want you to go ahead and copy a couple of template files. You need, by default, Zen uses these um, page template files, which is how the pages are laid out. But to get to work on your site, you might want to change something. So to do that, you need to copy the page.tpl file and the html.php file to do this example. So we're going to copy those. 
I'm going to go back to our test theme and inside our templates file, we want to drop those there. Okay. And let's go ahead and edit the page one just to show you that we're using this Zen sub theme. So now I'm using this page.tpl.php file. A lot of this is going to look kind of crazy, right? A lot of PHP going on there in HTML. But don't worry about that. Just simply test if it's working though. I'm just going to add some text right here and say, so this is my test theme. I'm just going to add that in, go back to our site and refresh. You'll see right there it says, this is my test themes coming in. But now if I switch back to my um, Zen theme and I disable my sub theme, you'll see that it's not, no longer using that. So we can guarantee that we're doing it right. See that how that went away? Because what it's doing is it's not looking at this page.tpl.php file. It's actually looking at this one right, right here. If I look at that one, I open that up real quick. You'll see it's they're going to be identical minus the fact that I added this little um, set of strings there, a set of words. So there you go, guys. That's how you set up a or download a Drupal theme called Zen and then set up a sub theme off of that. Again, you can do 100% configuration from there. You can change whatever you'd like, You're putting in your own CSS or SAS, um, obviously your own JavaScripts and um, other modules and developments um, just like anything else instead of dropping your into your themes you can drop it into your modules and drop any modules you want there um, and go from there so all right guys that is everything in the three-part series make sure to check out all three to make sense of them all uh, going forward we're gonna be getting into a little bit more tutorials and other videos make sure that if you want a module reviewed or anything like that you send it to us you can send it to connect at codekarate.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy coding.